look absolutely amazing. Who are you wearing? Ungaro. I like how you, you stand up and pose very stylish. Posture is very important when you're wearing a structured piece like this, or else you just look like a folded cardboard box. Well, I don't think you could ever look like a folded cardboard box, but this is not a Smurfette outfit, that's for no, sure. It's different because today I am just Katy Perry. You are killing it right now. How do you feel with all the attention and about to go perform underneath the Brooklyn Bridge? Yeah, girl. Um, I'm closing the night and I like closing the night. I'm excited. It feels like I have the last word. It's going to be a big night. I, I would uh, love, I'm going to actually spend tomorrow watching the whole show because I'm going to be prepping for my show. Um, but uh, I think tonight's VMAs is uh, really special. Some of the most incredible performers are performing tonight, and I'm just happy I could be included in that. You are naked under there! I am! What is it with you being naked? I don't know, it just feels good. Showing off your body parts, Cece. I am, but you can only do that in Givenchy. Okay, you look absolutely fabulous. I hear Lorraine Schwartz totally made these earrings for you. Bling, bling. Bling to the bling. I hear there may be a bling bling on your ring finger soon. What is all of these rumors? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Do you plan on proposing sometime oh, soon? Uh, <laughs> we, we working on it. We working on it. We're going to save some for later. How does that make you feel? You know what? I'm happy. He's my best friend. And, you know, those are special moments. So, of course, you know, you want to keep that part with yourself. But he's an, he's an awesome guy. Your counterpart is up there twerking earlier. Oh, She's yeah. saying she could twerk better than you. No, Miss Nikki's up there twerking right now. Are you? Can you? Can you twerk? I mean, I can do the Jersey Turnpike. What's the Jersey Turnpike? Oh, you just kind of. Oh my God, that may be way better than twerking. That is the best thing that I've seen on this red carpet so far. It's a Jersey way to do twerking. Maybe. That is a huge rumor that there's a big boy band performance tonight. It's gonna be in sync. I love boy bands. Would you ever, ever consider? Being in a boy band, and if you would, um, what boy band would you be in? Well, Boys to Men are reuniting, and I'm being in them. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm like a member of Boys to Men. Now. You'll be a Boys to Men guy. Yeah, it's going to be called Boys to Ed. Boys to Ed. What's your favorite Boys to Men song? We belong together. <laughs> That's all you're going to give me right there? Yep. Okay, tell the truth. If you could have been in a boy band, I would have said you would have been in like Backstreet Boys, but who, would, who what boy band would you have been? New Edition. <laughs> Come on, man. Rap Trez, man. Johnny Gill, Bobby Brown, man. Put me right up in there somewhere. Your fault for having Miley Cyrus twerking all over the place right now. How do you feel about that? I feel good. We live in Young, Wild, and Free, man. VMAs here in Brooklyn. How do you guys feel about that? It's great. It's a beautiful night. We're happy to be here. It's nice to be a part of the craziness, the festivities, and, uh, you know, that's about it. It's been a big year for us. we got a brand new album out. We got a brand new tour, we got a brand new video, and a brand new, a brand new haircut. <laughs> what is it? Was this just for the red carpet? Me and Jared flip flop, flop hairdos in the last year. Oh my goodness. Now, I have to ask, since you guys are here as nominees, do you guys get butterflies in your stomachs whenever you guys hear the, the and the nominees are? No, I think you, you, get, you get excited. We don't really get butterflies, but we get excited. We're actually, we've got three nominations is an incredible honor and we're the most nominated band and uh, we made a little video for a song called Up in the Air and it was it's great to get this recognition it's nice and speaking of bands we hear a big boy band may be reuniting tonight NSYNC don't lie you guys had an NSYNC song or two on your iPod would you have been a part of a boy band if you could have besides a rock band I, I never had one have you had a no I didn't well, and yeah. no I wouldn't but uh, all respect to the world for us was probably the Beatles. The Beatles? Yeah, the ultimate boy band of all time. And the winners for Best Dress, Husband and Wife. Hold on, let me make sure Justin Timberlake, Jessica Biel, Jay-Z and Beyonce, Robin and Paula Bat. You guys look fabulous. Who are you wearing, Paula? I hate you right now. I love it. This is when you forget who you're wearing. Can I say, just say Vincent? Somebody amazing. Somebody amazing. Robin, must we ask you your classic black and white attire as we always do? I don't know who it is, but it's black. Are you black is okay with me. First VMA performance, any nervousness going on? How did you feel during rehearsal? Oh, I, I'm just excited to be here. It's going to be great, no matter what. Since you're giving me those answers, I'm going to put you to the test right now. I mean, your song is one of the hottest songs out, but this man has a hot song, too, and I want to see if you could finish his lyrics. Are you ready, Robin? I'll try. Cause your sex takes me to paradise Yeah, your sex takes me to paradise And it shows, and it shows Show, whoa, whoa, whoa
Yeah, yeah. Because you made me? Because you made me feel like I've been locked out of heaven. There you go. First I have to ask, is there anything from this from the thrift store? This is definitely from the thrift store. Absolutely. Ryan? Oh. No. 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 Antique store. Well, how do you how do you guys feel about all this success that you guys have been getting now? It's been crazy. It's exciting to be on the red carpet for our second time. Buster Rhymes right behind me. It's an amazing experience. And you guys are performing Same Love. The meaning for this song, I mean, it's been getting so much buzz. What does it mean to you guys? Uh, this song is um, it's that record. It's it's the record that means the most to us. It's the fact that we get to perform it after we've done Thrift Shop and can't hold us at other award shows for MTV. The fact that this is kind of closing out the year. It's the most important song. Okay, now, usually when you get one piercing, they're kind of addictive and people want more piercings. Are you considering any more piercings, Gaga? I've tried, but you know, the House of Gaga tries to remind me that I'm a pop star every day and they've just been holding me down. I tried to shave my eyebrows two weeks ago and then I was trying, I wanted to get like more of my face pierced, but they, were, they, were, they weren't having it, so. The little monsters always love everything that you do. How important have they been for your recovery and your hip surgery and, and, and your comeback, basically? They've been everything to me, I mean, uh, applause was written for my fans. I, I I was really breaking at the end of my tour, and when I went out on the stage every night, the applause is what kept me going, and I love them so much, and tonight's performance is 100% for them. I love them so much, and I hope they love it. Now, how do you feel because you've had, like, 1 a.m. rehearsals? I mean, tired? Oh, yeah, we were here last night until 1. I, you know, MTV was trying to kick us out the building, and I said, we're not done yet, we're not done. I have to know, is there anybody out there that you wish to see? Because I hear NSYNC is going to be hitting the stage tonight. I kind of heard the same thing. I'm waiting to see. I'm excited. Again, you know, you never know what you're going to get when you come here. So I'm super excited to find out. I'm super excited to hear that you may be judging in the near future on a real, real big show that we like to watch. Maybe. You'll have to wait and see what happens. Maybe. There's no host tonight. I don't have the host. They rush me in because they want me to do some host-like stuff. That's what MTV does, they make me do stuff, Roxy, against my will. So now I gotta go and announce something that has to do with something that technically I shouldn't be doing because I'm supposed to be off tonight. I'm not hosting. You know, and somebody that's always been behind you are your fans. As soon as they heard that you were nominated, they were rushing to the computers to go ahead and start voting. How much do the fans mean to you? It, it's honestly why I get to do what I do. I, I realized that after putting four records out and having the last one be my number one, that I wouldn't be able to do it without them.